Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining me again. As you can see, I'm at Berry Head. This is one of my favorite spots to come in the mornings. I was hoping for a lovely sunrise, but uh, as you can see, it's very cloudy. But still, it's really nice to be here. And I've come to one of my uh, favorite compositions. I've got cod rock out there. And you can see what I'm trying to do is frame the two rocks in this uh, sort of crevice in the cliff here. If there was some sunrise, we'd be getting some nice light on there. But as it's quite dull, what I'm doing is uh, just doing some long exposure photography. Got a circular polarizer on. I'm taking around about 30 second exposures just to see what sort of images I can get. So let me talk you through what I'm doing. So I'm setting the camera up with a circular polarizer on. I've actually not got it polarised at the minute. I'm letting the reflection come through on the water. And then for a deep depth of field, I'm at f11. I've put a 30 second exposure on, which will smooth out the water and give me a good exposure in this uh, light. And I'm at ISO 100. Now remember, I've walked up here in the dark just before sunrise. So my eyes have become accustomed to it. Always look at the histogram on the back of your camera to make sure that you've got the exposure right because your, your eyes will play tricks on you. As I said at the beginning of the video, this is one of my favorite compositions at Berry Head. But unfortunately with this flat light, it hasn't produced a, a great image. And at 30 seconds, it was quite overexposed, so I had to uh, push the exposure down in post-processing. Well, that last shot was far too bright. So I put the variable ND filter on with the polarizer as well. And I'm trying some 25 to 30 second exposures. I've also taken a a couple of four second exposure photographs for the sky because that's still completely blown out. As there's no fantastic light, then it's just a morning to experiment, enjoy being out. So what I think I'll do next is maybe get a bit closer to some of the plants on the edge here. Try and make a more intimate sort of composition and then if I get no light in these clouds no color then I'm going to take a walk up to the end of the headland and uh, just see if there's any dolphins around this shot was a little better and as you can see I've actually on purpose made it darker just to accentuate the composition Focus in on the two rocks, you can see the water's really smooth, not too bad. Well, I've had to wait a little while, but there's a bit more light now. Just saw a uh, peregrine falcon as well going along the cliff, and so I uh, managed to get a blurred shot of that. But if I want something better, I'll uh, have to spend a bit more time. Anyway, off to the headland. Well, as you can see, the sun was rising out to sea giving me some nice light on the water but no wildlife to be seen but what there was were a few container ships going by and then I got this lucky shot the silhouette looking between the containers so I made this into a black and white really startling image now 
And as it carried on its journey, it then turned into this black block of uh, containers. So I've left the colour in this one, just to show you that lovely golden sunrise. And then turning back towards Cod Rock, looking at the uh, rock from a different angle, you can see the light starting to illuminate the coastline and these lovely uh, golden grasses in front of me. And lastly, there's always something passing Barry Head. So getting the grasses in the shot, focusing in on this uh, yacht as it goes past with its red sails. Lovely combination of colours. Well, it's really quiet up here this morning. Not many people around. Not that much wildlife either. A little bit of a breeze. And as you can see, still a little overcast. So, haven't seen much, so I think I'm going to call it a day. Just a short video this week, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you again next week. Bye for now. Cheerio.